Hey guys, it's Beth, and today I'm making over one of these cute little bunnies from Dollar Tree. I had grabbed this little sign from Dollar Tree, and I just needed the bunny part from it, so I just removed the entire hanger from it and set everything else aside. I had to take off that little metal piece on the ear and the little bow, so I just heated up the glue from it with my heating tool and used a putty knife to remove that, and then just pulled off the little bow and scraped off any excess glue that was on there. Once those pieces were off, I just gave the whole thing a quick sanding. And then I also had grabbed this piece of wood from Dollar Tree and just gave that a quick sanding as well. I used chalk paint in the color plaster and covered the entire bunny front and back with that. And I did two coats. And then I also painted the piece of wood with the chalk paint and just painted the top on that. And then I used my heating tool to speed up the drying process. And then once those were painted, I took burnt umber acrylic paint and I painted the sides of the piece of wood and the bottom in that color. I just wanted it to be a little different, but you can totally paint it just one color. And then I took the same burnt umber color in a fan brush and just dry brushed all along the edge of the bunny just to give it a little bit of texture around the edge and a little bit of color. And then I took these two little wooden cubes I got from Dollar Tree and painted them with the plaster color as well. And I just did one coat on those and covered them entirely. And then I took this half round wooden bead I get from Amazon and painted that with lilac mist acrylic paint. Next, I took this tan and white twine that I get from Dollar Tree and just wrapped it around three of my fingers a bunch of times, probably about 10, and then pinched it in the center after I removed it from my hands and then tied a knot with the same twine right in the center, nice and tight. And I did make two of those. And then once you have them made, just fan out the little pieces of twine to separate them. And then take one and hot glue it across the other one to make a little flower. And then the bead I had painted purple, it was just too bright for me. So I took some of the white paint and just kind of dry brushed it on there and blended it with my fingers and then hot glued it on the center of the flower. And then I had this lavender pick I got from Dollar Tree. So I just pulled a couple of the leaves off of it and a couple of pieces of lavender. Saw where I wanted it to go on the bunny's neck and just hot glued those pieces down and then hot glued the flower right on top of those. Once I had the little flower glued on there, I just kind of moved around the twine and made sure that the flower was nice and open. And then I flipped the bunny over and took those wooden cubes I had painted and hot glued them to the bottom of the feet. And before they were completely dry, I stood up the bunny and made sure that they were level with the feet and that they would be flat against the surface.
And then the last thing I did was hot glue those pieces right down to that board I had painted. Now I wanted it plain and simple. You can totally add greenery or moss or flowers or eggs or carrots. That would be really cute too. But here it is all finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. I used the bunny from this little sign, this piece of wood, a lavender pick, and some twine. Those all came from Dollar Tree. This little bunny tail I didn't end up using, two wooden cubes from Dollar Tree, small half round bead from Amazon, plaster chalk paint, burnt umber, lilac mist acrylic paint, and hot glue.